Alright people, I'm going to recap the Michigan Wolverines football season of 2017 and this is going to be a long video and I really just want to state my opinions, etc, etc. Uh, let's start out the good part of this team, the defense. Quite frankly, well, they're one of the best defenses in the country and they have been the past three years. And this year, well, let's look at the numbers saying. This is a, this is official, official. Team stats. Team sacks. Uh, let's see. They're number tied seventh. That's important. Total defense. They are number three in total defense and third down conversion percentage, meaning how often they get converted on on third downs. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. And on third downs, they're number one team in the in the country. So. And considering they only returned one star from last year, Mike McCray, they <clears throat> they they one of the, they they just need on defense. They don't they don't really need much help. They they can do they can win games on their own. But the problem is is that when you <clears throat> when your offense has thrown more interceptions than you have touchdowns, that's a problem. Michigan's quarterbacks are nine for ten. They've only thrown nine touchdowns to ten interceptions. That's that's just playing out bad. So, moving forward with this team, <clears throat> you know, Michigan had a good quarterback. We'd be a playoff team. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I'm not lying when I say that, honestly, because the reality is, is that if we have a good quarterback, we beat Ohio State. If we had a good quarterback, we beat Michigan State. And that's two wins. That's 10 and 3. That's, that's a big difference. Um,. And it's just hard to, I don't know, it's, it's, let's look through their schedule and just kind of, you know, let's just talk about things here. So they start out the season good with four straight wins. Um, they beat Florida, who was ranked, so that's a bad, that's a good, decent win. Cincinnati, eh. At Air Force, eh. Purdue, eh. The thing is, the defense basically won them all these games. They held Florida 17, Cincinnati 14, Air Force at 13, and Purdue to 10. Michigan State, they held them to 10. Um, and guess what? No, I mean, they held them to 14, and our offense can do shit. Um, and it's sad because if we have a good, if we had a good quarterback or decent quarterback play, we win. So that's a loss. That's just ridiculous. We held Indiana to 20 and beat them in overtime. We got smashed by Penn State, so that one, you know, credit to them. They whooped our ass. Rutgers held them to 14, held Minnesota to 10, held Maryland to 10. We held Wisconsin to 24 when Brandon Peters went out. We played them really tough. I think with a good quarterback, we at least make it closer and probably win that game. And Ohio State, with a good quarterback, we win that game as well because the thing is, we were down 20 to 24 with a chance, a, a drive, just one drive to win the game. And we can win that game. And yesterday, don't even get me started on the game yesterday. Was it four or five turnovers? I don't remember. Four or five turnovers in the second half, and three of those turnovers happened in your own red zone. I don't care how good your defense is. They're going to get scored on. You cannot... He didn't fumbles in the red zone. Our fullback fumbles. Well, actually, it was a tight end because they had a personnel issue. Our tight end fumbles. Brandon Peters shows a pick in the red zone. That's two red zone turnovers. And Donald Phillips Jones muffs the punt. That's four turnovers in the red zone. That, that's what I didn't pat the game. Now, another problem is, you know, people want Hunter Bar fired. You know, I get it. You know, I want a lot of these results. And, you know, I don't want him gone because who do you want instead? Tell me who would be a better candidate instead. Now, if he leaves, you know, that's, it. that's up to him because there are some uh, head coaching jobs available in the NFL. But it's just like, you know, next year is going to be the year for Michigan because this, is the, this, this has to be the year because, well, 
Harbaugh's one and four or one and five against rivals, but most of those games, you know, people are going to look at the record, and the record is one that matters. But you know, they're all close games, but you know, people don't want close games; they want wins. So you know, but the reality is, is that with Shane Patterson playing, we just need a better O line, and we'll be good to go. That's 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 the way I look at it because our whole defense is returning. Most of our offenses, so they got that gear out of the way. They got that nasty gear out of the way, progression. And you know what? This is, you know, if, if, if Harbaugh doesn't win 11 or 10 games, honestly, it's got to be 11 wins. If he doesn't win 11 games next year, I think he's gone. Or 10, maybe 10. Um, do they have a chance for the playoffs? Absolutely. And here's why. If, if okay, so if a team... Succeed. You know why? They have two things: a good defense and a good quarterback. If we can, if Shea Patterson can, just, if we can just have anything of a resemblance of a good, decent offensive line, we can win. Okay. Another issue I see is Tim Drev. Oh no! Oh my gosh! This guy's terrible. He's one of the worst play callers. Maybe it's not him and Pep Hamilton. I don't know. It's You know, maybe a hard boss shouldn't call those plays. I don't know. I don't know who calls the plays, but you know, this run, run, pass crap has got to go. It's got to go. We constantly run dives up the middle. We run inside zones. None of that crap works. It doesn't. At the play, we've been doing that all year, and none of it works. And none of it works. Our passing game is abysmal. Grant Perry is our leading receiver with 300 yards. That's pathetic. 300 yards, people. 300. That's garbage. That is absolutely garbage. So, let's look at something real quick. Okay. I'm going to look at something real quick. Let's go back to 2016 when we were a good team. Man, I missed that year. Come on. Okay, 2016. So you look at, I mean, look at look at 2017. Nine touchdowns, ten picks. Karan Higdon, you know he's pretty good. I like him. I'm 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 good with him. But our receivers, our receivers are terrible. I understand Tariq Black at injury. Good lord, people. Good lord. Okay, now see, look at this. 27, 2016. 20 touchdowns, seven picks. See, that's good. Dave Gunn Smith, 846 yards. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Amara Dombro had 862 yards. Jake Butt had 546. Jay Chester had 500. That's good. You know, was our offense trash that year? No. Was it great? No. But it was better than this year. Last year was... It still stinked, but it was it was better. You know, and then, hell, let's even go back to... Let's go even back two years ago. Jake Rudock, 20 touchdowns, 9 picks. <sighs> and guess what? J.U. Chaucer and Namara Darbo, 700 and some yards. We could actually pass the ball. And this year, we've had no passing game. It's been terrible. It has been straight up terrible. So, I believe with Michigan looking for moving forward, if our, it all depends on our line. If our line can play good, I think we can win a lot of games. Shea Patterson will be a baller. This kid's going to be good. So, let me look at the schedule real quick. Because this is, this is big. This is big. It's insane how much. It's, it's just insane. It is insane. You know, I understand the hate, but it's just like, you know, when you, when you, when half of your, more than half your team leaves, you know, it, your, your, your expectations got to be a little bit lower. You know, I'm, I'm just being honest here. Okay. So, we start off at Notre Dame. I'm not going to go through the schedule. I'm just looking at how many wins and losses we're going to have here. So, 
so the big thing is, is a lot of our tough games are on the road. At Notre Dame, that's going to be tough. At Northwestern, that should be interesting. At Michigan State, and at Ohio State. So it's one, two, three, four tough road games. You know. I like Michigan this year to win 10 games. Double digit. I like Michigan to have double digit wins this year. You know, eventually we'll go through the schedule and all, but this is a season recap. That's the video. I'm out of here.